Welcome to viewers joining us now on Sky Sports 5. Saturday night at the Grand Slam of Darts, the opening match, seeing Brendan Dolan take the opening leg against the German star Max Hopp against the darts. We have a, a cracking lineup of arrows coming for your delight and darting delectation tonight. Phil Taylor and Daryl Fitton, Michael Van Gerwen against Martin Adams. Gary Anderson against the BDO number one, Glenn Durrant, and two former world champions to round off the night in Adrian Lewis and Scott Mitchell. Great night ahead. And it's only day one of nine here at the Wolverhampton Civic. Packed out again. Well, it certainly is, Stuart. And with the BDO, their top eight players, which they've sent the top eight right from the rankings. Other years it's been cherry picked a little bit, but we have their best eight. I have to say, up until now, they've, they've put in some good performances. We expect some better for performances this evening. Remember this one here, Brendan Dolan's the one who's got out the gate quick. A nice little 13 dart opening leg to break the throw of Max Hop. So he's going to have to make sure he breaks back. Just remind you, best of nine, first one to five legs. So it's a it's a 60-yard dash, really. It is. Spot on. A roll reversal as well, isn't it, in this second leg? Dolan dominating the first leg against the darts, and Hop at the moment very much in control of the second leg against the darts. Mathers Hatters at the darts. We'll stay there. May, may go 25. A lot of players will go to the 25. Just to leave the 96, which would be a two dart combination where the 102 is a three dart. So 140 here can put the pressure on and would have made that last dart a big difference to Max Hop. One. So 102 for Max Hop to get his throw back. Look at the bull here, you know. Well, he did, I can assure you. 87. So, Dolan, a long way behind in this leg, but more than capable of 136. Let's have a look. Another one of those. It's not. Well, he's going to put pressure on. Now, sometimes the hardest thing to hit is the big number. Surely he'd be looking at seven. Or is it three? No, it's three, double six. Oh, now he's chasing down to the threes. This is not the one. Oh, I was going to say, it's not a great switch for a big tall fella. No problem for Max Hopp. Good stuff from Hopp. The world youth champion for another two weeks at least. Just 20 years of age, Max Hopp. And what Wayne Mardle was saying at the, at the top of the show, absolutely spot on. If he can progress over the next two or three years and become the success that many people are predicting, it's the missing link, isn't it, in German darts? Well, it's absolutely bubbling over Germany. 5,000 crowds watching the Euro events. They really are turning up in their droves. And to have a young man like Max to take this game on in Germany would be absolutely unbelievable for the industry. And he's got the game with some exceptional darts. It's just that experience to it. You know, you can't buy experience. You've got to earn it. And uh, that's what he's got to do over the next perhaps three years. That's what he's got to set himself a target. But not unrealistic target you know he's got to be able to think well i can achieve that got a good throw as well very solid he's a big strong lad as you can see there the arm and the shoulder are not coming into the action it's all the forearm and the wrist yeah well a welcome return to form for dolan last month or so he's had a wretched year or so he really has and he qualified for the World Series Finals, qualified for the Grand Slam on one really important night for him a month or so ago. 
Hop earning the right to play here because he won the World Youth Championship. Lovely setup. Well, that was sensible darts there from Hop because, you know, 51, he had no intention. All he wanted to do was set it up, give himself three clear darts at double 16 to take the lead. There are times when you can be flash and there's times when you certainly don't. And this is one time when Max Hop's played the right card here. He's got some time on his hands. And he thinks he'll have to get it next time. Dolan's given him every chance of getting this leg. It's a this leg is a gift. There it is. Turned it around after losing the opener. And the German leads. He yes, didn't want to start messing about with that stew, did he? With Dolan on only on one, two, one. Two legs on the trot. For hop. This is where. He's got to steam into him. He's got to you know, fire in a 12 dart to get that breaker throw, get 3 1 up, get some daylight. One. A, a Grand Slam debut for Max Hopp. A fourth appearance on the Wolves Civic stage for Dolan. Only got out of the group stages once, the Irishman. Way back in 2012, lost to a certain John Part. Remember him? Response. You normally find players that throw that strong a dart don't switch as much as other players. They fired in those last two. But Dolan again, One. frustrated and annoyed with his dart dropping underneath the, the treble 20 bed. It makes it doubly difficult for him. But to be fair, we haven't seen Dolan switch, have we? Yeah, he, he's staying up at trouble 20 as well. We well, need six starts from here. Or, or two visits, I should say. Wow, wow. It's a double 14. So Max Hop can put in a big shot here. The double 14, if he splits it, there's a chase down the seventh. That's not the greatest of routes. So the 25 here. I'm surprised he didn't go for the 25. A bit of pressure on this double 14 for Brendan Dolan to level it up. So two apiece must win. Opening game for Brendan Dolan and for Max Hopp. Strong start to the leg. Yeah, Dolan, on the well, TBC well, tour well, this year, well, you've well, talked well. about the fact he's, he's had some struggles, hasn't reached, or hasn't got past the last 16 of any individual tournament. If he reached the, uh, the semi-finals of the World Cup of Darts with Northern Ireland back in June, but on, a, on an individual level, well, 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 he's had a shocker. And he has... He's talked about that, but he he reckons he, he's in a good place. He's just got married and happy in his life and happy in his darts. One. Well, Hop's got a little bit of daylight here. Needs to carry on. Needs to find the treble. Sixteen. Side chance here for Dolan. He needs to find a couple of big trebles though. Yeah, and sloppy, Max, sloppy visit from both players. Really, there was a chance there for Brendan to to really get a chance 
to get this throw against the uh, get a leg against the throw and at this time of the game it really is crucial too many 60s from Dolan 60. and from Hop well, you, what happens with players you do find they miss three then they go up and think well oh, you know got to find a treble they put extra pressure on themselves they miss another three and that's why you find a lot of players will go nine 12 darts even without finding that treble 20 bed One. Getting exasperated, isn't he, Brendan? Lovely dart. Double 16. 78. What a good time this would be for a ton plus finish. Against the throw. Nowhere near, was he? No, no, I, I can't say I like that route anyway, because hit the 19, you've got to go for a bullseye, which is smaller than a treble anyway. But double 16 for Hop to break the throw, uh, to hold on to his throw, sorry. Yes, and double eight it is. Now we're getting near to the business end of this match, and now the pressure is going to come on. Brendan Dolan has got to hold his throw here. Dolan chasing, he's chasing the game. And the very fact that Max Hopp broke back, winning the ball in the practice room could yet prove to be very important. Yes, you don't see too many players win the ball and then give the throw away. Phil Taylor used to all the time, I can assure you, he doesn't now. Not in this short format. No. There's the first maximum of the match. Hmm. We thought this one would be a long game, Stuart. I think we're right. It's unfortunate from Hop. As good as he could manage. Yeah, just flicked the flight, didn't it, on the way in. if he needs them to level up the first match of the evening session on the opening day of the Grand Slam. Ten years, Rob, ten years of this tournament. Sixty-three. Well, now we're at 140 from Max Hopp. With Dolan coming back with the ball with 65, the amount of times you'll see a player hit the bullseye coming for a 25. And I can assure you they aim for the bullseye, the red bit takes over your vision. People will say they go for the 25, you obviously want the 25. Wow. Well, he's ended up where he wanted to. On top. And it takes one down. Three out of four on the doubles for, for Brendan Dolan. Three apiece, best of three legs for what would be a huge win as they try to qualify for one of the, the tough groups at this Grand Slam. Reminding you, Group A, Hop Dolan, Martin Adams and Michael Van Gerwen. And Elvis. with Max Hopp, perhaps he's just got to try and calm down. He's got a very powerful throw, as you can see. He's a big lad, so with that, sometimes he grips the, the dart a bit hard, and he overreacts with the, the hand a little bit, he'll, he'll pull him low, or now and again, you'll see him get flyers, and they'll go right in the middle of the 20. As he goes forward in this game, he's just got to control that, because under pressure, that's what's going to happen. And a rare switch from Dolan, but the same result. Exasperated look, frustration. Key leg in the outcome of this match, I'm sure. Dolan eyeing a break. Hop just desperate to hit a treble. 
60. and again only 60. Oh, attacked out here in Wolverhampton. What will be an unbelievable night of darts. Can anybody take Michael Van Gerwen? I mean, the form he's in. We have to say, and the bookies are saying, that he's massively odds on. Well, it has to be the man to be, Michael Van Gerwen. You have to say, in TV tournaments, he looked unbeatable for most of this year. Another poor Thanks visit from Dolan. So half has six starts from 141 to retake the lead. Well, he set it up absolutely perfectly. It would have been nice to see him go out on the 141, but what he's done is left the double. Although the tens can cost players. It's not the greatest of route because if he puts the first one inside and have to cha chase up to the fives and it could be a problem but Dolan on 140 not really a lot of pressure Good dart A leg away from a crucial win Max Hopp The pressure back on the shoulders of Brendan Dolan now. Wow. Can Max Hop sense an opportunity to win it here and now in this eighth leg? Big visit for Dolan. Needs to match the 140 from the German. Oh, another 140 there here from Hopp. Can more or less give him the throw. And that's a perfect dart. Even the, the fins of the flight are perfect. Good strong start from Max Hopp. Really has taken the game to Brendan Dolan yeah, here, and you, you feel he's going to have to finish it here. Out of the two, Brendan Dolan does have the more experience to get over the line in the decider, even though Max Hopp does have the throw. Well, it's, he, he can't stay there, he's got to switch because he can't. Being a right handed thrower, mm -hmm. the left hand side of the bed is just out of it, so he's got to come down, which he does. I didn't have a choice. The key visit has left to finish. Can Hop finish 2 2 1 in six darts, maybe? Well, there's those flyers I was talking about. You know, they're a long way off the treble. It does happen a lot. And all of a sudden, he's lost the advantage. Go on, Brandon. He was close, wasn't he? <laughs> well, Travel 17 for Max Hopp. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. So Dolan will be back to try and force a deciding leg. Double eight to stay in the match, you feel. Oh, on the wire, double four. That's a lovely switch. Really good switch. So here we go. Huge leg of darts for Max Hopp and Brendan Dolan. Hopp has the darts. Here we go. Yeah, this is where Max Hopp has got to try and stay relaxed. Don't grip that dart too hard. Oh, well, there's one of those trebles that flies in off the flights. It's one back, as we say, instead of deflecting out. The 
Dolan uses experience in this decider. <laughs> My fear for Max Hop. I think they had to finish it in the previous leg. However, a 180 here would really help. Two beautiful darts from the young German. That's what he's got to do. Got the advantage back. Real pressure situation. to say they're both handling it really really well well now's not a time to visit without a treble oh, that's a perfect dart if you're going to miss that was a brilliant last dart <laughs> big sigh of relief for hop he has left to finish after nine but you feel here it's in dolan's hands 140, 140, and a ton. Now oh, where's your 10p? Hop on 161, Dolan on 121. Well, if he doesn't take it out, Stuart, he's got to hit a treble, which he's done. I would have gone for the 25 there. The 25 would have guaranteed the young man two darts at a double. If he comes back with the board and Mitlevy hits the treble 10, he's going to get the two. And the chances are he may only get one. That's if Dolan does not take this out. Treble 17. Now the ball's eye for the match for the Irishman. Wow. He just missed the ball for a 1-6-4 in the last leg. How many darts will Max Hopp get for the match? Real pressure on the young German. Brilliant dart for the match. He had his chance. The pressure got to him. Two match darts. Very, very costly. Or not. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> and he knows it. <laughs> That was using one get out of jail card, that was Brendan. That was so close to the treble. And his wife Teresa, heart in mouth as well. To pinch it. Oh. So that's too much dark from Max Hop. And in the end, experience does win the day. The youngster couldn't close it out. Brendan Dolan in a last leg decider takes a crucial win in Group A, which features Van Gerwen and Martin Adams. Dolan wins just by four.